Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Nate and in this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to build a website in 10 minutes or less. This is going to be an all-inclusive video showing you every step of the process so that you can build a website for your business without having to pay a professional. You can do this for a really low cost and I'm gonna show you all of the steps in this tutorial here today. So make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and let's get started. Let me show you my computer and walk you through this process. All right, so there are five easy steps that we can take to build this website. And let's start with the first one, which is getting your domain and hosting. Where are you going to create this website? We have to create it somewhere. And so this is why we recommend using SiteGround. There are a lot of options out there for where you create your website. Uh, we have videos on those different options if you wanna go explore that. But for the purpose of this video and overall our recommendation is to use SiteGround. So if you wanna follow along with this video, you can click on the very first link in the description, which gets you a special discount for SiteGround, which is the company that we use as a hosting service to build all of our websites. And it's one that is highly recommended among many people in the website industry as one of the best. So uh, we'll leave a link to that down below uh, and we can get started here with this tutorial. And for the price of $6.99, and maybe these prices might change when you're watching this video, uh, for $6.99, which is essentially the price of a burger at McDonald's or Burger King, or you go to a different fast food place for $6.99 per month. We're getting our own website. It's hosted through SiteGround. This is one of the most reputable companies to create your website with, uh, but we're gonna be building this through WordPress through SiteGround. So if you're getting a little bit confused, just follow along and I promise you it's going to work out in the end, okay? So this is the first step to get your domain and hosting. I'll walk you through here. So let's go with one of these plans. If you wanna automatically start off your website uh, with a bang and you wanna go out and start to really create a re very fast moving website, you can go with the Grow Big plan or the Go Geek plan. Uh, for this, for the purpose of this video, I think we'll just go with something like the startup plan just to kind of show you how to create this website. So let me do that right now. Let's click on get plan. And then we have to go through by registering our domain. So unless you already own a domain, you're going to have to register one. Uh, so you can think of a different business name or maybe it's your personal name, uh, whatever you would like to do. You can type it in here and see if it is available. So let me do that. And let's just try Santrell Media Tutorials for the purpose of this video. And let's see if it is available because we want to purchase this domain and it looks like it is available. So now we just have to go through step three, review and complete this purchase, and then we can get on with building our website. Okay, so I just filled in some of my personal information. I scrolled down and now we're looking at hosting services. So if you're following along here uh, in this video, we're gonna see multiple different options. I personally think that the 12 month plan is probably your best bet. It's gonna give you the best price for $6.99 per month. You could of course go with the 24 month or the 36 month if you would like to, uh, but I think 12 months is sort of the sweet spot for this and next year, if you wanna move your website somewhere else or maybe you decide you don't wanna do this anymore, uh, it's not too big of a deal for $6.99 per month, okay? So then we look at the extra services that are available to us. We have domain registration. I would also highly suggest checking the box for domain privacy, okay? So you're gonna wanna check this. If you don't check this box, uh, then you're gonna have so many spammers coming at you. You're gonna have mail coming in every direction, emails out the wazoo, and it's just gonna be annoying having uh, no privacy with your domain. Uh, keep in mind though that if you're using a domain outside of America, some countries you can't have domain privacy. It depends on where you are in the world. So if, if you're not capable of checking this box, then probably don't worry about it. But for $12 a year, it's going to be something that you're not gonna wanna miss out on. Trust me on that. And then SiteGround site, scanner. I don't think we really need this for now. I mean, you can certainly get it if you want to just to protect your website a little bit more, um, but I don't think we really need that right now. And then we just click these two boxes, make sure that you read their terms of service and their privacy policy. Uh, I've read these many times, so I'm going to go through this and then we're going to click on pay now. Okay, great. So we just submitted this. Uh, it looks like our account was created successfully. Now we can just click on proceed to customer area and then we can start by installing WordPress, which is free to install. Uh, we've already made that $6.99 payment. It's free to install WordPress uh, and now we can set up our website. So let's go with this. So we have a lot of options on what we can do here. Uh, we just see this big orange button here on SiteGround that says set up site. We are gonna click on this, but if you wanna explore a little bit more, we can look at these different things. If we wanna point our domain, transfer domains, we wanna do different things like change the domain of our website, right? So we have a lot of options, uh, but for this, we can just go up here and click set up site. 
And then we can start by starting a new website unless you already have one. Now from these options, we've just selected this. Uh, now we're going to select WordPress. That's what we're going to use. And now we're going to set up a login. So we're going to create an email address and a password here for our WordPress account, which is separate from our SiteGround account. Trust me, this is all going to come together in the end and you're going to have a really nice website after this. All right, so I just entered in my information and now I'm going to click continue. And I don't want to add SiteGround Scanner for now. Maybe if you have the budget for it, you can add it. It's certainly something that's helpful, but I just don't see the need for it right now when we're first setting up our website. So now they're creating our website. It says it might take about two minutes. Sometimes we see this take a little bit longer um, and it's not too much to worry about. If it's taking a little bit longer, just maybe close down your computer for a little while, go for a walk, go uh, eat some food, come back, and it should be set up within 30 minutes or so. Uh, it, it usually happens a lot faster than 30 minutes, so let's just wait a little bit and let's see how long this takes. Okay, great. So that probably took me 15 or 20 seconds. I really didn't even make a cut there. Um, and so now we're all set with Santrell Media Tutorials. We can look at this. Okay, this is what we're looking at here. Um, now we can click on Manage Site. And this is going to take us into our SiteGround dashboard here. So this is, this is really helpful to have to be able to look at all these different things. Uh, whenever you want to get back into this, you can just go back to SiteGround's website, type in your information, and you can get back into here to look at your security, your speed, your WordPress, everything else. Okay, so now what I want you to do is go over to the WordPress option, click on Install and Manage, and then if we scroll down, we'll see this little button down here that says Login to Admin Panel. Now, if for some reason you haven't already installed WordPress, you can just click on Select here and you can install it, uh, but for most people, you can go down and click on Login to Admin Panel, okay? So when we click on this, it's going to take us to our website WordPress dashboard, okay? So this is where we're actually building our website. We, we're hosting it with SiteGround, but we're building it on WordPress. Hopefully you're following along here. If you have any questions, just leave them down below. Uh, but now our website is live. So SantralMediaTutorials.com is a live website. Let me show you this. If we go into a new window here, paste that, SantralMediaTutorials.com, boom, that is it right there. It looks absolutely horrendous, atrocious. Um, it's so bad of a website right now because this is our default site. But I'm going to show you how to clean this up very, very quickly, okay? So it doesn't look good right now. Let's X out of this, go back to our WordPress dashboard. If you ever want to get back to your WordPress dashboard, all you have to do is type in your website and then type in backslash WP admin. So you can see right here, Central Media Tutorials, and then we have the backslash WP dash admin and this is how we get to our WordPress dashboard once again you might have to log in but then we can get to this okay so we have our site here now we can start to work on this step number three is to install a theme and so this is a really simple process to do this but it's going to make your site look a lot better automatically and so we can go to appearance if we click on appearance and then we can click on add new for themes and then we have this option for all these different themes or essentially designs that we can have for our website. So instead of us having to go encode it, it's going to make it a lot easier. Uh, the one that we like to talk about is called Astra and it's a free theme. There is a pro version as well, but you can just install the free theme to get started with something like this. And then we can click activate. So we just installed a theme of your choice. We used Astra here. So now what we're gonna do is let's go up to my WordPress right here, click on visit site, and we can see how our site's looking. Um, and so this is what it looks like when we installed that Astra theme. It looks a little bit different. Let's say you wanna change it instead of saying my WordPress and maybe you don't like this sidebar here. We click on customize right here. And this is going to allow us to customize a couple of things on our website. So let's say that maybe we want to uh, change with, with global, we want to change the typography, the colors, right? We can do all of that here. We want to change the header, uh, so site identity. Maybe we want to add our logo. We want to add our title instead of that. Maybe it's um, Santrell Tutorials, right? So we can change all of this stuff up. And this is pretty easy to do with this, just with the editor, and we can click publish. And then maybe we wanna just make a couple of other changes here, uh, which we can go through and do, okay? So maybe we wanna change up uh, the primary header, primary menu. Uh, maybe we don't like this stuff over here. Maybe we don't like this, we can just delete this, we can remove this. We don't want recent comments maybe, we can remove that. So you can kind of go through and, and just toggle with this and learn some of this. Uh, it's hard to explain all of this in 10 minutes. We do have longer tutorials showing you more in depth uh, uh, tutorials that are an hour or two hours long. I'll leave a link to some of those down below. So once we feel like we've done enough here with this editing, we've toggled around with it, learned a little bit about it, uh, then we can go 
and click back on the dashboard. And now we're going to add a couple of pages. We're going to add a home page, maybe a blog, maybe something else as well. So we go down here, we click on pages and we click add new, right? So we're going to add a new page here. Let's call this one the home page. Click publish. You're gonna have to click publish again, so twice, and then it's gonna publish that. Click back up on the W up here, and let's add one more page. So click add new. Sorry if I'm going a little bit fast. I'm trying to make this condensed. Click blog or, or type blog. So we're making a couple of pages here. Really easy to make these pages. Um, and now we go back up to our website, click visit site. So now we see we have blog and we have home page, right? And so from these, now we can start to use Elementor to build out these pages. So let's go back to our WordPress uh, uh, dashboard here. And now we're going to click down on plugins. All right, so now that we have gotten our domain and hosting, we've installed WordPress, and now we've activated a theme, there's two more steps to this process. So step number four here in this process is to install plugins. Now, there are a wide variety of plugins, and you can check out some of our other videos that we talk about some of those plugins, but there are two that I want you to install for this video, and it's going to help you tremendously, and that is by installing Elementor and installing Envato, which is going to be a template to essentially fast track your website design process. So we can go over to plugins and we can click add new and then we can type in Elementor. And what's great about Elementor is that there is a free version for this. So you don't have to feel like you have to pay for it. They have a paid version as well, um, but I don't think that you necessarily need it, especially not at first. So we can click install now. And then once it's installed, we can click on activate. And there we go, we have just installed Elementor. Now before we jump the gun, I wanna show you one more and that is going to be Envato. So we click add new, we type in Envato and Envato is going to give you templates to create your website. So if for some reason you don't see this available to you, maybe it's not available in certain countries, I'm not quite sure. Uh, but if you don't see it available to you, you can just type in different things besides Envato, like templates or uh, different things to find uh, something similar to Envato. So this is the one that we want, Envato Elements. We can click Install Now, and then we have to click Activate. Okay. So now that we've just installed both of those, now we can actually go to our homepage. Let's say we want to start building out our homepage. And this is step five of the process is building our website. So let's go to pages and let's go to our homepage. Now we can hover over our homepage here and we can click on edit. And then from here, we're going to edit with Elementor. So we can go up to this blue bar right here and click edit with Elementor. And this is going to take us into the Elementor uh, page builder that we just installed. So this is really easy to use. For example, if, if we wanted to create a heading here, we can just drag it over and drop it. And there we go, we can type something out. We can delete it if we want to, because what I wanna show you is this green button right here, which is Envato, which is the other thing that we just installed. So if we click on this green button right here, which is only going to be available to you if you had already installed Envato, uh, we're gonna see a bunch of different kits, installed kits, uh, premium templates. So we can go and look at free kits. And these are different, uh, essentially, uh, uh, templates that have already been created for us that we can use for free for our website. So let's say that uh, we're looking through here and we really like uh, this uh, one that is a STEM school. So we can click install kit and then we can view kit. And let's say that I really like uh, this one right here, which is just the basic home page, and we can insert template. And this is super cool because th this is going to just make it so much faster to build our website. So it's importing. Let's let this load for a minute. And just like that, we have installed this template. So now our website, if we click update here, and let's go back to just uh, Santrell Media Tutorials. Let me just put this into a different tab because we'd like to do this to just kind of check on our website. Let's take a look at it and let's go to the homepage. And this is our website right now. You can see it looks really good. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. We, it, the words are not correct, but this can be your website right here because we just installed Envato uh, for that template, right? So finding a template to install, now we can just change up the words, right? Maybe we wanna change this up. Uh, Santrell Tutorials is, is going to be something different. We can say, you know, hello, right? And I'm just doing this just to show you how easy it is to type and everything, right? And we can go through here and we can start to edit everything, click on update, 
and we can publish it and boom, just like that, we have created our website. A lot of this you can go through and start to learn a little bit more on your own. If you're still confused about some of these uh, steps in the process, we have those longer tutorials that I'll link down below uh, if you wanna learn more about building a website like this. But this is our website, uh, uh, it's, it's a live website. We did this in 10 minutes. So I hope you found some value in it. You can always uh, check out some of the links in the description as well for some extra resources. Uh, thanks for watching. I really hope you win with your website uh, and I'll see everybody in next week's video.